Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Bilal Abdul Karim for On the Ground News. I'm coming to you from northern Syria. In eastern Ghulta, there have been more than 500 people killed just in the last nine days. Now, I found an interesting article. It was on Fox News. And it said here, anger in Damascus after mortar attack kills three-year-old. Now, why would that be strange? Now wait a minute, let's look at some of the content of the actual article. It says, fighting has intensified in recent days as government forces push into the area known as Eastern Ghulta, home to some 400,000 people which has been besieged for weeks and pounded by airstrikes and artillery. Eastern Ghulta has been besieged for four years, not the last several weeks. How could they have missed that? Wait a minute, it goes on. Dozens have been killed on both sides and siege has caused severe shortages of food, fuel, and medicine. First thing is that dozens have been killed on the rebel side. Can we say that linguistically the word dozens matches more than 500 officially? Now I've been here for a long time. Many of those people who are killed go directly from the rubble to the grave and are not counted. Can we really say that 500 people in the last nine days are dozens? I don't really think so. But then there's another thing it says here. Shortages of food, fuel, and medicine. Medicine, you're thinking about, oh, well, you know what? There's no battery for the hearing aid. Um, there's no headache medication. There is no uh, uh, cream for my foot, or it's no cough medicine. The reality is that they systemically, systemically destroyed many of the hospitals which are there in that area. So this is what I want to say to you today. Why is Fox News supporting these lies? It's not clear to me, but this is why they don't like OGN, because we expose the lies of the liars, and this is an article which is written by liars. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.